Hello everyone, let's try to be a cheat code ninja today. In this problem, we'll be looking at a very common programming pattern that everyone must know. So let's begin. We are given a sorted array with distinct integers and we are also given a target value. We have to look up that value in our array and if we find that value, then we have to return its index. For example, the target value 5 occurs at index 2. And if we don't find the value in the array, then we have to return the index at which it should be inserted. In our second example, the target value 2 does not occur at the array and it must be inserted at the first index to maintain the order. It's given in the problem statement that our solution must have a time complexity of log of n. Let's try to come up with a solution using this example. The most obvious brute force way to solve this problem would be traverse from left to right and find our target value. And as soon as we find the number, then we can return its index. The problem with this solution is that we might have to go through the whole array to find our target value. For example, in this case, to find the target value, we will have to check each element in the array. So the time complexity of this solution would be O of n. Let's try to optimize this. As it is already given in the problem statement that our input array is sorted in ascending order, we'll apply a common pattern called as binary search where each time we'll split our search range into half and thus we can find the target value in log n time. Let's understand this algorithm using this example. Initially our search range will be this whole array and we'll mark this range using a left and a right pointer. Initially our left pointer will be at the 0th index and the right pointer will be the last index of the array. We'll add these two pointers and then integer divided by 2 to find the middle position. So our second index will be our middle position. We'll now compare this value with our target value. We see that our target value is lesser than our middle element. And since our array is sorted in ascending order, if our target value lies in the array, it can only lie to the left of our middle element. So now we can cut down our search range by half. And since we'll be looking at the left side of our middle element, our left pointer will remain the same, but our right pointer will be one less than the middle index. We'll again repeat the same process and our number at the middle index will be one. And since our target value is greater than the middle number, it can only lie to the right of it. So this will be our new search range. And since we have only one number in this range, it will be the middle index. When we compare this with the target value, we see that both are equal. Hence this middle index will be our answer. Now let's take a look at this example where our target value is not in the input array. We'll repeat the same process as earlier and our middle element will be 8. Since our target value is smaller, we'll be looking at the left of it. So this will be our new range and our middle element will be 1. Our target value is greater than it, so we'll be looking to the right of it. So this will be our final search range and the middle element. We see that our target value is greater than it. So we'll look to the right of it by increasing our left pointer by 1. Now we see that our left pointer is ahead of the right pointer. So our search range is no longer valid. This means that we could not find the target value in our array. Ideally our target value should have been present at the second index. Luckily for us we could get this index value using the left pointer. And this is the index where our target value should be inserted. The time complexity of this would be log of n because each time we are finding the middle element and then comparing it with the target value, we are cutting down our search range by half. So it will take at most log n comparisons to find it. And the space complexity of this would be constant because we are just maintaining the left and the right pointer. Let's implement our solution. The first thing that we'll do is initialize our left and the right pointer to be 0 and the last index of the array. Our search range will only be valid till our left pointer is less than or equal to the right pointer. So we'll continue our binary search till we violate that condition. We'll find the middle element by adding the left and the right pointer and then integer dividing it by 2. In some languages, this operation can lead to an integer overflow when the addition of these two pointers will be very large. To avoid that, we could also find the middle element like this. This will never lead to an overflow because the subtraction of two valid positive integers will always be a valid integer. Once we have our middle element, we'll compare it with the target value. And if it is equal to the target, 
in that case this middle position will be the answer so we'll return it directly now we'll handle the case when our target value is less than the middle value in that case we'll be searching to the left of our middle element hence we'll update our right pointer to be one less than the middle element and finally we'll handle the case when our target value is greater than the middle value in that case we'll be searching to the right of it hence our left pointer will be one more than the middle index if our target value exists in the array then we'll find it using this binary search inside this loop if it does not exist then in that case the left pointer will be the position at which the target value should be inserted we are now done with our solution if you have any doubts concerns or feedback regarding this solution please mention in the comments if this video is helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content thanks for watching